Uh, last page. What is the purpose of the paragraph written by Tolstoy? I would argue that Tolstoy's purpose of the paragraph is to explain once again what is art. The purpose of what is art is developed by five examples set off by the feelings or the feeling. The purpose is developed to explain that art induces feelings, a variety of feelings I might add, in others. Uh, Tolstoy, unfortunately, has a translator who uses infects, which I don't think is accurate. Number five, Tolstoy employs a periodic style or sentence in his paragraph, explain how he structures his sentence and where he places the main point in the paragraph. I would say that even though Tolstoy kicks off the paragraph with the sense of the concept of feelings, variety, uh, I might add, that an artist injects in others or infuses in others, the climax or the main idea is expressed at the end of the sentence, followed by the phrase, it is art, and it's used as a, an emphatic point. He structures his sentence with a series of the feelings, notice it repeats three times, and the feeling twice, followed by the use of repetition to highlight and emphasize the examples he chooses. And I would say that this periodic sentence using feelings five times um, certainly provides variety in his first topic sentence. So it is used uh, with a specific purpose in mind. And that leads us to question six. Tolstoy uses three cases of repetition. There are others, but there are three main ones. Explain them and why he uses them. I would argue that Tolstoy is a master of language and style, and he uses repetition. First, in the comparative very, he uses it six times to describe a series of three contrasts in the first part. This adds rhythm to his speech and amplifies his point. Second, he expresses um, where one can experience a feeling by using the prepositional phrase in a. Notice drama, novel, picture, and march. Once more, the repetition adds to the rhythm of his voice and uh, proves and amplifies his point of where one can experience the artist's feeling in multiple varied ways. And thirdly, Tolstoy uses the ablative of means, how you enjoy, uh, with the use of by a, which offers a slight change in the soon becoming redundancy of in a. Notice that there's a focus on dance, story, landscape, lullaby, and arabesque. And there's a wide range of media that we can tie back to the thesis. The emphasis on the most various feelings is highlighted repeatedly and emphatically by Tolstoy to prove his point. Simply listing the media is not enough. He wants to engage your sense of sound and drum the point.